Okay, so on today's episode, we're going to quickly do a very quick one. So I've covered how to do an alliance war prep, the next war is going on. Okay, buying items, I bought this one earlier. Just quickly go through them. Anyway, for Arena, the great news, I can buy Scream and it's my last five shards. Oh yeah. So, if I go to Scream. I've got her on max. It costs half a million. And now she's seven stars. Watch this. Oh yeah. What an increase. Well, that's a good increase. If I go to Blitz. I did this slightly earlier, but anyway. That's my overall team power for Symbiotes. Achievements. This one's giving me an unlock. So I've ranked a character 625 times. Be careful that you don't open this just in case. Uh, yep, I can take that, go to achievements, press claim. Right. Just going through things and keeping on top of it. Okay. So in milestones, I've been trying to get Lady Deathstrike because she's a hundred shards and slight chance of getting her. But I'm not really too bothered if I don't, so I'm just buying it with these um, mini candies. Right. Try to top up on this one because I need it for my bio characters and they are very strong anyway. Spent quite a bit of money on it in the game. The game's money. Claim all of these. And the more you claim, the more you do things, more battles, the claims and everything. You get things like orange elite or fragments or whatever the, the trend is for the time. And yeah, just all is going on top of it, cover everything. See how it goes. Yep, just nice and simple. Some of these got a premium orb. Talk about symbiotes actually. Uh, here we are. Carnage's movie's coming out, or it's already out, so I'm going to probably watch that later if I get the chance. If not, it will be a shame, but anyway, it's going to be absolute carnage. Love this team. They're strong. Little things like that. I can press equip it. This one won't cost because I've done something where, I can't remember what it is, but you get some automatic ones. But others do cost at times, like for example that one we saw before. Okay, alliance raids. Let's just do quick battles. <coughs> like I said before, wall is going on the outside, you get more points. And I'm using that Thanos tactic with my cosmics. Ghost Rider. He's all right. Let's go for the big attacks. Yeah, let's just go straight for this guy. Magneto is a pretty decent, uh, the best one to attack in this one. Normally I would have gone for Juggernaut, but because Magneto can blind you, it's not the best tactic to fight against. You lose a whole round almost, because he does seem to get it. Just attack there. Attack big, just go straight for the big team. Yeah, just wipe them out. Got five out of the 12 remaining. Just keep going. Attack, yeah. Spread it out. Actually, do you know what? Get Juggernaut before he does that defense boost thing. Get Kingpin before he summons people, characters, whatever. Just 
Bulls win the last one. Let's go. He's got defense up, so obviously he's going to take a little bit uh, more time to attack and get into the red. Yeah, okay. Blackboard still it. <coughs> okay, top of the lead at the moment. Just three attacks or win um, missions away from the final. Each boss one with the face has an orange one, orange T4 ability material. The normal ones just have it to the purple for uh, Ultima 7. If we go back to this one, okay, go for this. That's the characters that you can only fight, fight with. Go for this team because that's my healer for beast. Plus, in this one, there's a restrictions of no heals allowed. <coughs> the beta ones are generally quite the easier ones to do. Okay, this Wolverine upgrade is good. I, I like that. It just keeps bleeding everyone up. I'm not going to go for these kind of characters, unless I go for overall attack. But all I should have focused on everyone else. Okay, another Magneto. This just got big. Okay, I'm going to go for Sabretooth, it's got death proof. And... Yeah, I've got a blind on me, so that's not good. And there's a taunt. So this round's going to be just an extra one. Okay, I can just take everyone's blinds. It's not the best tactic, but I'll just go for it now. Okay. Actually, do not keep my team safe. Just use a big blast. Okay, Magneto's secondary attack. My Phoenix has got very low health. It's not a good sign. Okay, just final attack there. Oh no. <laughs> it's the worst fun I've ever had with this one. There we go. Sabretooth has good advantage uh, when he's got low health, he gets uh, a death proof. Allows him to last a slight bit longer. Okay. I'm going to keep this team because I can get my heals through. With Beast, it's good to diversify your team as well, but we've grown it a lot since because I was struggling on the X-Men ones and so I built a team at a time. Hence why I've said on Blitz, build your team one at a time, take your time. It takes long, but it's very, it's, it's well worth it, 100%. Okay, let's put it around. <coughs> I'm going to go for the speed characters. There you go, heal. Plus, my healing ability allows Beast to give off the lowest member of the team using the ISO 8 um, option so that I still gets to heal so I'm not worried and plus she's very strong so they're not going to get a chance to win not on this Phoenix towards the end yeah it's going to be a lot harder there's a mission where before the X-Men don't get to attack or Brotherhood she's not Brotherhood she's X-Men but it becomes hard to attack yeah give a negative blast it out Go for this mercenary lieutenant. Yep. Go for Pyro. Aim for him. He's the one who does the most fire damage and I guess bleeds. So yeah, just um, keep it up to date like that. Always keep going. Push the team forward. And I try to do my best to be on the top of the, the leaderboard. It's just my little personal goal. But yeah, go to milestones. Just keep claiming everything you got. There you go. And that's it. Yep, real time arena. Let's see what we've got actually. Claim that. Go towards. Got that. That's not too bad. So, yeah, always stay on top of it. Every single time you get the chance. Even these little things. Let's just go for. I don't know. Okay, I've done quite a few this way. That's why. Okay, I'm going to go for approximately midnight. 100. So I'm going to go out in a bit and let the game in the background load, do its thing. If I go to 
these characters. Yep, get as low as I can. That way, when I come back from when I'm doing my thing, I get to maximize the amount of uh, energy that I get to play with. Because if I don't, then I'm like, oh, opportunity gone. Yeah, perfect. Yep, campaign energy, another reward. And then daily objectives, complete. Complete. Yep, max everything out for the day. There you go. Always do that. Daily tasks, even extra stuff. Um, oh, and another one in line trades, the blue one. Okay. And then that one. Just out of interest, I want to see what's in here. Yep, just keep going through that every single day. Do as best as you can. And that goes for it. Consistency, persistence, and all that. There you go. So, yep. Over and out. Oh, yeah.